What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 uh, Wi-Fi battle, or not Wi-Fi battle, what am I saying, I've never recorded a Wi-Fi battle, Marcus you idiot. Anyways, today we're going to be doing a showdown live uh, where I'm testing out a Greedent team. Essentially this Greedent team is just the reworked um, Graplock team, one of the most fire teams ever made. Uh, nearly undefeated in fact, Graplock went crazy. Uh, but Greedent here has a little bit of a different role, it's a secondary Trick Room Sweeper next to Calyrex Ice, uh, and it has Gluttony Figgy Berry. I could run Cheek Pouch, but Gluttony's a little bit safer. Um, and it has access to Psychic Fangs, which is slower than Calyrex Ice. So even if we don't get a Trick Room off, what I can actually do is Psychic Fangs, breaking screens like Reflect, uh, and then sweep with Calyrex despite the screen. Since a lot of people's way of dealing with Calyrex is by getting screens up and intimidating. So yeah, beyond that, it's just like the Greed, or it's just like the Graplock team. Um, and you know, before we get into this, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking, hey, Marcos, uh, where are the pace for the teams? Uh, well, you have two options when it comes to, like, getting the pastes from the teams that I use. Uh, and one is just, you know, you can copy them off the video. I always show all the sets here, so you can do that now. Uh, or you can uh, join my Discord, where I actually keep all of the pace for my teams in a channel called Moxie Team Library. Link in the description. Uh, yes, it's a way to get more people into the Discord. You can copy it from the video if you don't want to join that, but yeah, no, that's it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, though, at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, except for the last two days because I'm trying to graduate with my physics degree, and I'm almost done. I got one month left of college, and then I can go and get a job. So, yeah, sometimes there will be a day or two where I just don't have time to record a video. But let's go ahead and do it. Uh, question of the day. What is your favorite Route 1 Pokemon? I am a big Greedent fan. I love Greedent. He's a cute little dude. Uh, and he's basically just like Route 1 Snorlax. So <laughs> it's just physically defensive Snorlax, is it? But yeah, uh, what's our ladder? I played a couple of games with this team. It sucked. Uh, we're at 1403. Uh, but let's see what we can do. So the nice thing about Greedent is because it's on the Calyrex Ice team, we almost never have to bring it. However, we're going to do our best to showcase it today, so we're going to bring it to almost every game. Here, uh, we're facing just Hyper Offense. Um, they have a couple of ways of stopping the Trick Room. You know, they could just go full out, lead off with Calyrex Shadow and KO me. <laughs> uh, they could go Regieleki plus Calyrex Shadow, which wouldn't be great. Uh, to stop the Mimikyu, because then I have to call a Trick Room, or I have to call um, a Dynamax correctly, which could be kind of disastrous. Uh, I think what I'll actually do here is I'm going to go Mimikyu, Incineroar, Greedent, Calyrex, and they should lead off Regieleki, Calyrex, Shadow. They don't. They actually go in DD Calyrex, which, honestly, I'm all for it. <laughs> Let's go for the Snarl. Uh, let, me send him with, let me hit him with the GLHF. He's going to go for the Follow Me, Imprison. Do you have Trick Room? Is that what you have? Is that your deal here? Um, That's probably his deal. I'm going to try to Belly Drum here. I don't think I can get it off. What move is the- do you have Snarl? There's no way. Does Calyrex get Snarl? He doesn't get Snarl. He doesn't get Snarl. Okay, um, it seems I have odd HP. Marcos, you're dumb. Fix that. It's been fixed, okay. I don't know why I had odd HP. I'm usually not dumb enough to do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for our max strike onto the Ndidi, or actually Landers is probably smarter. Uh, and I'll actually switch in my Mimikyu here. I could go for a parting shot, technically. Maybe my play is actually going to be to max guard this turn. Is that my play? Do I max guard and then get the Mimikyu in? I think I am. I'm going to max guard. Get the Mimikyu in. Because if they Dynamax the Landris, this lets me do my thing. He's going to Swords Dance. Okay. Alright. Uh, not the end of the world. I Max Strike you. Go for my Trick Room. If he wants to stop the Trick Room, he doesn't have very many options. He has to double the Mimikyu, uh, which would leave the Landris wide open. Looks like he just wants to stop the Greedent from doing something. Uh, but I still get my Trick Room off, and I get my Calyrex on the field. I threatened him so much that he just let me take this. So we're going to go for the Glacial Lance. Uh, I shouldn't need a boost to KO a Landers from this range. I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak. 
He could stop my my weakness policy, I think. With just to follow me, but I, I don't think Landers takes the hit. Pretty sure he doesn't. He doesn't even stop it. Cool. I get a crit on myself, which isn't great, but this should always KO. Yep. Nice. So Greedon, while it didn't do anything, it scared the hell out of our opponent, which is honestly all it really needs to do. That's all Greedent needs to do to be a good Pokemon in my heart. And we have three full turns of Trick Room to do whatever we want. He's already wasted his Dynamax. We can just Glacial Lance and go for the play rough. It doesn't really matter. Good game. That was pretty, that was pretty, that was pretty sexy, to be honest. That was a pretty sexy greeting game, but what do you what do you expect from Peter Griffin Rat, the sexiest Pokemon ever made? Also, excuse me if you hear me sip. I'm drinking a coffee. I have an astrophysics exam today that I'm choosing to record a video right before. Nothing gets you hyped up for astrophysics like Pokemon. Uh, we're just facing Sun. Uh, how good is Greedent in this matchup? It's god-awful, honestly. How do they stop Trick Room? I'm going to try something super risky. I'm going to go Calyrex and... Mimic you on lead. I'm going to bring Kyogre and we're going to bring Greedent, which is going to lose. Uh, I could bring Ferrothorn to do better against this dude, but I'm going to bring Greedent because it's funny. We're choosing to lose uh, for the sake of the of the of the Peter Griffin rat. Now I actually have the right HP stats, so I shouldn't get messed up. That's something I didn't notice in testing. I always like took a little bit of chip damage prior. If you if you're unaware, you need to have an odd HP stat if you're running Belly Drum. Well, you don't need to, but it's highly, highly, highly recommended. Otherwise, it gets a lot harder to get that berry off. That might have messed up some of my Zacian calcs because I lowered my HP and increased my defense. So, you know, I'm gonna do this. I'm not. The, 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 um, what is it? The special defense is just dumped, so we'll do that. Safer. Alright, uh, as they go Groudon and Zacian, uh, what I can do here is, assuming that they want to double attack the Mimikyu to prevent the Trick Room, which they might not, um, I'm gonna go Kyogre and try to Trick Room. I don't think they leave Calyrex alone here. It's too scary. I think they have to attack Calyrex. It's too scary of a Pokemon to leave alone. Oh, they might have. They might have doubled the Mimikyu here. Oh, they did. They certainly. They certainly did. Um, I'm gonna go Greedent. We're gonna go for the Water Spout. They didn't get any special defense boost or anything, so this should come close to KOing this this dude. Uh, and a Belly Drum is just funny. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I forgot AV Groudon just eats that, doesn't he? We do get that off, which is huge. Um, and I'm going to go for the Protect, and I'm going to Dynamax here. I'm going to Dynamax my Greedent, because I think the dude has to... I think this dude has to double... Not double attack Calyrex, but attack Calyrex with Zacian. Yep. Got him. Goes to the Quake, I eat that up. Alright, how screwed am I? Is there a Charizard in the back? Because if there is, I'm screwed. There's a Moongus, cool. Um, I just Glacial Lance, like every time. And I'm going to go for the Max Strike onto the Moongus. He actually misses the Greedent, which is pretty huge. I'm gonna get this. Uh, let's see who he ends up going for the Spore on. Probably Greedent. Oh, I'm just faster. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I win the speed die. Okay, no, I win. Greedent went hard there. Greedent went hard there. There's no way he goes down. GG. Okay, yeah, a lot of surprise steel moves today. I, I mean, I, I actually should have known that this thing had Heavy Slam. That's like standard on Groudon right now. I just haven't really played a lot of Sun teams recently.
Despite them being popular, I've somehow dodged them. Did I not say GG? I should have said GG. I always say GG. No matter how much you hacked your opponent, no matter how many crits and flinches you got, always say GG. The average Nincada lover. Okay. Um, this is just going to be like Brutal Swing, Tailwind stuff. Um, they have the option of Trick Room, which is kind of scary. However, however, uh, they have very limited options for beating Ferrothorn if I get enough defense boosts off. So what I want to do is I want to lead off Ferrothorn and Kyogre. Because Kyogre should take a lot of pressure off of Ferrothorn turn one. Uh, and if I get enough iron defenses off, they don't really have an option of beating me. Let's go ahead and bring Calyrex in the back and Greedent because it's funny. Okay. Yeah, no, we're just going to do this. Uh, we're going to go for the iron defense in the water spout. If they have wide guard, so be it. They aren't going to click wide guard here. Going to get a decent amount of damage off. Seems like they want a trick room. Max Lightning. Like I said, we're taking a lot of pressure off of uh, Ferrothorn here. Oh, they have that. I suppose that's an option. Um, How much do I want to Dynamax here? Do I go for it? It'd be so funny if I got this off. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's objectively a bad play, but it's super funny if I get it. Uh, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? I think I might double. Max Quake's not going to do that much, but we definitely eat a hit. If he crits himself with Shadow Sneak, we might be able to chip him into range where he loses to this. Steel Spike. Get my berry off, so I take another one of those. Get a little bit of damage. Get a body press off. Okay. Yeah, um, he should lose his Solgaleo next turn regardless of what he does. He would have to crit me. So we're going to do this. How much did the Quake do? 17%? Yeah, so if he Steel Spikes, I have to double. Steel Spikes, I live. Do I go down to a Play Rough now? He misses the Play Rough because Greedon's just broken. Greedon's just absolutely broken. The most busted Pokemon ever made. He's got two special defense boosts. I can just power whip this Kyogre. What, what are your options? Just don't miss, bud. Just don't miss. I never miss. Except for this power whip. I'm going to miss this power whip for sure. Um, I just I just go for... I mean, technically, I just quake. Bounces off the Ferrothorn. Let's see if I can connect. Woo! Okay. Okay, I think we win. <laughs> I think that's like the cheapest win we've gotten all day. Yeah, thanks for the weakness policy. Are you Scarf? He's not, but uh, he missed, so might as well be. Woo! And there's the Incineroar. We win. Uh, let me go for the body press. And the high horsepower. Oh no, I lose. <laughs> yeah, I lose to fair. I lose to this guy. Um... I technically protect here and just hope this dude's the worst Incineroar ever made. He's not. He's going to take a lot of recoil here. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. GG. For a minute, I thought we cheesed him with <laughs> just the bulkiest thing ever. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that it, it did that little. Like the Steel Spike at plus two wasn't able to, you know, two shot uh, Green. And that's kind of cool. Here, we're facing just Rain Hyper Offense. Um, Mimikyu's pretty essential, I think. Yeah. I have, like, no options for beating the Shedinja. And these... On this team, I would imagine it's not Sash. I'd imagine it's Goggles. So we definitely need to bring our options here. We definitely need to bring both of these options. Um, I think what I want to do... I think what I want to do is, ah oh, man, how do I do this? It's the Lele that's messing me up because I can't even fake out anything with Lele on the field. I can fake out a Lando, but it could just Dynamax. Um, we'll lead off Ogre. I think that's fairly safe. Uh, we'll bring Calyrex. I think Calyrex Ogre is probably not that bad. And then we go Incineroar Mimikyu. 
Okay, yeah, no, this isn't this isn't the end of the world. Um, whose thing went first? Tapu Lele. Kyogre's Drizzle. Wait. So he's Scarf. He's Scarf. That's pretty much confirmed. Um, because he's Scarf, I think what I want to do here is... I, I can't go in, in... I can't go Mimikyu. I really can't. I think I just go for the Origin Pulse. And I Quake his Kyogre. Okay, so we're speed tied on the Scarf. He goes for the Spout. Unfortunately, I take a lot more than I'm comfortable with there. Uh, that more or less bounces off of me. And now, um, I'm just going to Origin Pulse again, honestly. And go for a second Quake. We saw how much the first one did. Friggin' 54%. Uh, so this should KO. He goes for the Zacian Crown. I don't agree with that. He's just sacking the Zacian. I missed there. Kind of sucks. He goes for the overgrowth. Does this KO? Yes, it does. Nice. Um, oh, we're playing a dangerous game here. Playing a dangerous game. I need to get rid of Lele. Actually, no. No, this is pretty winnable. Um, oh, my weakness policy is still in play, though, so he can poltergeist me. I need to get the Trick Room off to win. I suppose I can max guard. Okay. Um, I ult pulse here and I attempt the trick room. I need a trick room to win. He does have poltergeist, which really sucks because that'll KO me. Okay. Get the Mimikyu in. Um, yeah, I always focus down Kyogre. So I shadow sneak into the Kyogre. Lose the speed tie, but I should KO it now. And we win. Cool. Origin Pulse. Snarl. GG. Yeah, Shedinja is such a scary Pokemon to face. If you haven't seen my competitive Pokemon lore about Shedinja in restricted formats, definitely check it out. Oh, yo, is this the team that um got, like, top 16 at uh, Salt Lake City? I think it is. I don't know what this thing does. It loses to greed, and that's what it does. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's just go for... I could lead off Greedon, really. That'd be pretty funny. I don't know if the Alone Executor's fire moves, though. Definitely need the Incineroar. That's pretty much a given. I think I'll lead off Kyogre and Greedon here. We'll bring the Incineroar, and I kind of have to bring Ferrothorn. Okay, yeah, Tailwind doesn't seem great. Tailwind doesn't seem like a great thing to have to face here. Um, I'm going to go Ferrothorn on what's probably going to be a Max Lightning. And if they let me go for a Belly Drum, I should be in a really good position. If, if they just ignore the Greedent here, I'm, I'm in like a super good position. Could get Taunted, um, but I'd imagine they want a Tailwind to avoid a Water Spout. They fake Tears me. Oh, they just they just said no Greedent. They just said, I hate you, Greedent. That's all they said. Okay. Body press, or not body press. I have to I have to iron defense hoping that it's not max flare, but it definitely is. Max lightning, okay. Uh that gives me a little bit of faith that it might not be. I'm gonna go for a protect here. I'm gonna go for the uh flare blitz onto you. Yep, there it is. Doesn't KO, didn't really expect it to. Um, I need the double. Cool, I'll get the double. Hey, uh, fun fact, we're Dynamaxing Incineroar in this game, I think. Are we? Maybe. Maybe we just Dynamax the freaking Kyogre and get rid of Whimsicott. Like, that's not that bad. 
Also, if they don't go for Tailwind, I like always KO this thing. So let's just do this. Let's just body press Flare Blitz because they need a Tailwind. Yeah, they can paralyze me, which kind of sucks. But they've taken a lot of life orb damage and that body press did do a decent amount because of the critical hit. There's their ogre. Um, how winnable is this? Not terribly winnable. They've already used their Dynamax and they never airstreamed. I think it's my best play to get the Kyogre here. No, because Kyogre's going to go down. Um, I do a, I need to attempt to protect in a parting shot, even though I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Yeah, I'm going to lose both my mons there. All right. Uh, I go for the Water Spout here. I should be faster unless there's Scarf. And then I have to Dynamax on the Kyogre. I have to. I can't Dynamax this turn because it would turn off my Choice Scarf. Okay, decent damage. As they reveal they are not Scarfed. And there's the Necrozma Dusk main. Um, this is going to be super close. How much do I take from a Thunder? They, if they get a low roll on the Thunder and I somehow manage to one-shot this Necrozma, I can win, but I don't. Yeah. Uh, if they got the low roll on the Thunder, I could have gone for Max Lightning there and I probably would have won, but uh, it depended on... Er, GG. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? Can you tell i saying GLHF? <laughs> Stayed up all night studying for this exam. All right. Let's uh, try to let's try to hit the 30 minute mark. So we got like two, three more battles. Um, how do I how do I face this team? Let me think. Uh, Greedent doesn't look that bad, but I need to get the trick room off, and that's the thing. That's the thing. Uh, I think we do a similar thing the last time, where we go like Greedent plus Ferrothorn because they don't have a lot of options for beating it if I get Iron Defenses off. And we'll go Kyogre and... Do I need Mimikyu? I think I need Mimikyu. I could just go Calyrex though. Fits a similar role. All right. This is super risky. This is super risky. Uh, da -da -da -da. I could go Kyogre where the... I mean, I could Belly Drum, honestly, and just... He's probably just gonna Bulldoze. And if he doesn't bulldoze, I still get this off, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Kyogre. Because he might just want to like Sacred Fire the Ferrothorn and make sure I don't get anything off with that. Entei's usually Choice Scarf and just bulldoze. Let's see if he bulldozes or Sacred Fires. Goes to the Bulldoze. Let's see who he targets. People are just not fans of the Greedent today, are they? Uh, so the good thing about that is because these things are typically Scarf, I can now start going for Iron Defenses. And I'm just going to Dynamax this dude now. Go for the Geyser. Yeah, I would imagine it's Scarf. Yep, it's just Scarf. Goes to the Mindstorm. It actually does a decent chunk. Um, however, as previously stated, doesn't have too much for this. Guys are him again. He's kind of forced to... Yeah. As I'm starting to wall him out. <laughs> uh, I can go for a Protect and a Body Press. And he's running out of some options here. If he switches out Entei, goes Kyogre. That could be a little bit of annoying. Um, can he stop my Trick Room here? I think I just... I think I have to go for the Trick Room, which really sucks. I really don't want to. Because I, I know he's going to taunt me. Like, he's got to have taunt. We'll try it. I mean... Actually, no, he can't taunt me. There's Psychic Train up. All right, please throw. I'm gonna, I actually iron defense again here. Hurricane, okay, that's a way. 
That's a way to stop that. Okay, I lose. <laughs> GG, GG, okay. <laughs> I need to, I mean, like I said, I really want to use the Greedent in today's video, so even though I probably could have gotten a lot more done by bringing like Incineroar or, <laughs> or like Mimikyu, um, I'm, I'm a little too committed to the Squirrel in this video. I could see Greedent doing something here. Uh, foul play from this dude wouldn't be great if I belly drum up and get that, get that done to me. Uh, but I think what I can do is I can go Greedent plus Incin, go Kyogre and Kali. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. This isn't that bad. Um Oh wait, you know, this is this is pretty fire actually. This is pretty fire actually. I have to be careful because he probably has foul play. Please don't Dynamax. Please don't Dynamax on me, bud. Okay, he Dynamaxed on me and he got rid of the Greedon. Can we stop bullying the Greedon? Can we stop? That's the thing. Everyone says, oh, Marcos, Greedent isn't good. Then why do you keep KOing at turn one, huh? Smart guy, huh? Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure we lose this game. Um, one would assume there's a Gastrodon in the back. Yeah, uh, Max Lightning's my best play. I go for the parting shot onto you. I am faster, which is really nice. Um, max Darkness. Parting Shot. Go Calyrex. Uh, da, da, da. The, this next one still KOs. So. Uh, I could also Geyser, technically. Geyser would KO from this range. Go Incineroar. Yeah. Okay. Well, he called me on the Geyser. Hmm. Let's go Hailstorm Snarl. All right. How how winnable is this? Um, I don't think I ever Trick Room. I think I just Ice Beam Glacial Lance and hope that I can take a hit. I don't take that well. Do I flinch? Oh, well, I do flinch, and I think that means I lose. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that kind of sucks. Actually, how much did that do? 60%? Here, take this crit, take this crit. I mean, it depends what's in, what's in the back here. Um, did I crit him? I did not crit him. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just lose regardless. Miss a precipice blades. I know you have more accurate moves, but just miss one real quick. Yeah, sh shadow claw. Hello. That's pretty interesting. All right, uh, we'll do one more. I have time for one more. And like I said, I'm a little too committed to the greedent. We're gonna bring it even if it sucks. Here, greedent's probably fine. Um, I should be able to lead off greedent. Man, there's so much anti mimicu stuff going on. Um, you know what? Let's just do it. We haven't done like the super simple lead with Mimikyu and Cinnabar yet because I'm too scared to do it versus a Thunderous, but I'm just going to do it. Okay, cool. Um, we got the only lead that allows us to do that. <laughs> so I Trick Room Fake Out. Pretty, pretty baller here. You go for the protect, that makes sense, but I had to do it regardless. Goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Um, I didn't like that, sir. That was really not fun. Uh, I'd like to get rid of you first, so we're gonna Shadow Sneak Snarl, and that might do it. I'm pretty sure Zacian wants to get out of here. Okay, Zacian stays in. Didn't expect that. Go for the Will-O-Wisp here. Uh, I'm gonna go Greedent. No, I don't go Greedent here, I just Parting Shot. They can't stop the Will-O-Wisp, they'd have to get out. And if I get this off, that's actually really huge, because it's going to make it super, super easy for Greedon to do his thing. 
I miss. That sucks. Alright, please just hit this thing. Goes for a sub, but that's literally the worst thing that could have happened. Um... Yeah, man, I don't know, that was super bad. I needed to land that. Hmm. Gonna go Incineroar here. Let's just Belly Drum. Let's just throw Caution to the wind. Cool. I get it off. Um, they also decide, interestingly enough, to uh, not KO the, the dude. Green lost 34% in south. Okay. I mean, not unwinnable. Uh, I think I just Glacial Lance and Max Strike here. Yeah. And I need to KO the Sation. Pretty sure the Calyrex just comes out now. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get lucky here. <laughs> we just bet on the luck. Uh, hopefully it just goes for Astro Barrage and I tank it. Because if it's Sash, I definitely do. Yep. Get my policy off. Oh, okay, yeah. A little bit a little bit too predictable on my end, I must admit. Um, I just lose. That's fine. That's fine. We committed a little bit too hard to the Greedent in this video. Obviously, when I record with it in cartridge, I'm not going to commit so much to it because it's not always optimal. I just want to bring it for this video since we're trying it out. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoy, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.